Catch some wood! Loose all and trim sharp to the wind! Made sails. All sails shall take it. Old Billy Riley, that's the gallops and boys. Old Billy Riley, old Billy Riley. Templars desire to understand the nature of these artifacts. Their spies have called upon many doctors and other learned people in New York. They have also approached many tribes with questions. Yeah, they've been showing that manuscript far and wide. No one can read the strange writing or understand the images. We do have a name, though. We learned 
that Lawrence Washington sent out the manuscript. Lawrence Washington, businessman, Virginian politician and high-ranking Templar. Oh, uh, yes. I recently heard he was back from the West Indies. One of my men saw his major domo pick up a strange package. Then that package will be delivered to him promptly. Shay, figure out what it is and find Washington. And when you do, learn all you can. I'll prepare the Morrigan. service can I provide you? My thanks for your trust, yeah. Captain. <laughs> Captain Cormac has the helm! Get the mates free! Well, if we've any luck, that ship will lead us right to him. I make my own luck, Liam. And Washington is running out of his. For sale! For sale! Aye. There she is! All right, man. Time to be quiet. Lawrence Washington is a powerful business, a slave owner, and a leading Templar. We lost track of him about a year ago. I recently learned he was in Barbados, but I haven't been able to confirm that. Now. Now you think he had something to do with the theft of the artifacts, don't you? I wouldn't put it past him. Haiti's a short voyage from Barbados, and his return to the colony certainly coincides with the arrival of the artifacts. We cannot let the Templars get control of these colonies. Whatever happens, Lawrence Washington must not survive. I'll make sure he doesn't. Spread our wings to the wind! Bearing dead straight to land, Captain! Aye. There she is! All right, man. Time to be quiet. Lawrence Washington is a powerful businessman, a slave owner, and a leading Templar. We lost track of him about a year ago. I recently learned he was in Barbados, but I haven't been able to confirm that. Now. Now you think he had something to do with the theft of the artifacts, don't you? I wouldn't put it past him. Haiti's a short voyage from Barbados, and his return to the colony certainly coincides with the arrival of the artifacts. We cannot let the Templars get control of these colonies. Whatever happens, Lawrence Washington must not survive. I'll make sure he doesn't. Call in the stunts! Blockade, Captain! Right, this won't do. Shay, you must follow that ship on land. I'll do that. Bring the Morrigan around another way. Aye, Captain. Track that package Stunts and find Washington. Out. Brief it all, tops. Now's all sail. Sub-blockade. 
And remember what I said, Shay. Washington must die. I... What's this? A rifle. You there! Stay! Where? You are. How can that be? It makes no sound. Thanks for the present. 
Master Washington. This is a strange surprise. Not quite what I was expecting. Now I must find Washington and interrogate him. Lined up, dog. Got him inside. Got you lined up, dog. Got you lined up, dog. so special about this party? Who knows? All I've been told is that this is Lawrence Washington's residence. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Me and half of the guests here tonight. Yeah. I need to get to Washington first. Then I'll worry about the artifacts. Are you sure you shouldn't be in bed? I am fine, George. Be a good host for my sake. Go to the wine cellar and get something special for our guests. I will. Gentlemen. <coughs> my brother is a bright spot in a troubled land. If I may make one request before I depart this life, please leave him in peace. He should have nothing to do with the troubles of the Templar cause. We all respect that sentiment, sir. You have my thanks, gentlemen. Master Smith, are you ready to leave on your voyage? Aye, sir. I shall return with answers. Master Wardrop, are you likewise engaged with the manuscript? Yes, sir. We will soon know its meaning. Then I bid you take your leave. <laughs> she did can barely stand on her own two feet. Better be right about it, Liam. Because I'm about to murder a dying man.
not too late, assassin. It's never too late to ruin Templar plans, Master Washington. <coughs> But my plans are already in motion. Even leading you here... <coughs> ...has given my allies time to escape. <coughs> Thank you... ...for making my end a quick one. And thank you... ...for revealing your master plan... ...you scheming snake. Damn it. Better hurry. I have to get to the Morgan. William, I hope you brought the ship around. You'll not get through here. Is that a ship, Mortar? That's not Spartan! Unfurled, mates! Let's move! Fire! Better wings to the wind! Lawrence Washington is dead. You look disappointed. The sickly way that man looked. He would have been dead in a month anyway. And two other Templars got away. They're looking into the manuscript and box. Did they have the artifacts? I don't know. Perhaps. I can't be sure. Then you did what was right by the Brotherhood. You'll find the object later. Cheer up, Chief. It's a rare day we could sow such chaos among the Templars. Perhaps. But to hear Washington speak, they didn't sound like they'd be too put out by the loss. Well, that's what he'd want you to think. The memory appears to be fragmented. How much time has passed? A few months, I think. That virus is cutting off our access to complete memories. The readable, but messy. The Seven Years' War will soon break out in the colonies. Focus on assassin interference. We'll do our best. Won't we, numbskull? It's so grim about the homestead now that Miss Abigail and little Connor have passed. Aye. I've seen Achilles crying. Why shouldn't he? It's just that, he doesn't look sad. He looks furious. It's unsettling. He's struggling with the loss. We all are. I know, but it's been months, and we've done little but search for this blasted manuscript and box. Le Chasseur has a lead on the box, to meet him and Chevalier in St. John's. Chevalier too? No hope of cheering me up, then. When Achilles said whoever had the artifacts could access sites of great power, what does he mean? I'm not sure I understand it myself, Shay. I had a long talk with Adewali about that. He believes the box can be activated to, well, project words or images. Like a magic lantern. What do you mean? You know the magic lantern shows Father Connolly put on in the church basement? The box had a candle in it, I think. He put these little glass plates in front. 
Then we'd see the images projected on the wall, like cathedrals in Rome, bright and near as big as life. Ah, yeah. I suppose it is. Except that it interprets the strange language of the manuscript, too. If the plate were of a banner in Latin, we'd see it in English. How is that possible? Who knows? I fear we might never truly understand how any of the pieces of Eden work. Where in the world has the most beautiful girls? I suppose it depends on your vision of beauty. A damsel from Corfu and one from Oslo are as different as chalk and cheese, but both could be lovely. You see, opinions like that give a man a reputation for wisdom. Yeah, thank you. I would have just said Havana. The girls there have lusty buttocks and bosoms and feel no shame in putting them on display. But that's no slight against our lasses from home. We're almost there, Captain. Le Chasseur will be expecting us. And Chevalier. That's a small price to pay for a lead in the precursor box. Brief the topsails and gallants. Chevalier, what happened to your vessel? I got myself into a bit of a scrape. Sent three ship in all hand to their watery grave. The Giafu nearly followed them down. Just your fate has been better, Le Chasseur. Indeed. My sources inform me that Samuel Smith has searched far and wide, looking for answers on how to make that strange box work. He just returned from Europe. Where is he now? Refitting his schooner. If you hurry. You can catch him... there. Oh, remember those blueprints? Well, I had an engineer build that marvelous weapon for your ship. Master Pucker's gun fires more shots than an artillery brigade, and twice as fast. Many thanks. Anything for my hooded friends. Captain? I will join you on this voyage. Then shall we, gentlemen? You are in a jovial mood, Shay. Why shouldn't I be? I have a new weapon, and will soon have a chance to use it. Besides, Templars are usually well guarded, and I'm sure that Smith fellow is no exception. I also took the liberty of ordering some of the crew. Morgan now has a ram to cut through ice and 
I have heard of such technology that are witness this operation. What about Smith? Close by. Oi, he sails these very waters, as he may have the precursor box. Then let's find him. There he is. Most fortunate timing. Lady Luck never ceases to smile on you. He's seen us. Give chase. But hold your fire. We must not damage the box or risk losing it to the sea. Can this boat go any faster? At least my ship is still seaworthy, Chevalier. Our target's a smart man. Smith is the famous treasure. What he's doing in these waters is beyond me. Maybe he came here to meet someone. Or ran into your pirates. He's refitting his ship. Something must have happened. If one of my allies attacked him, I would have known about it. Well, he's back from a long voyage. Now's our chance to get him. Smith controls most of the Templars' wealth, doesn't he? With him out of the way... Washington entrusted the precursor box to him. He probably still has it. Shay's right. The box comes first. So we can't sink him. We'll have to board his ship or force him to beach. Look, Captain. He's cutting through the ice. It seems you are not the only one equipped with such a ram, Shay. Let us hope ours fares just as well. We're smashing the ice! Sir! Aboard! Aboard, Captain! It worked. The way is clear. Now, once more, your fortune holds. But do not waste time congratulating yourself. Smith is giving away. He's going to put an ambush. Halfway you see the other half air. Smith must not escape. Cuts the wind. I don't see Smith's ship! Let's get rid of these distractions first. We'll find him. Still within reach. Sir! To the fore! The gallants and roads! Some yep. sort of cargo there, sir!
What wickedness is this? Another Templar tactic. They can cover whole stretches of ocean with their flames. Careful, Shay. We could be burnt to cinders. It's nothing more than a last desperate throw of the dice. He knows we have him. Ship's weapons near that precious box. I'll take care of this. artifact treasure from those who came before yes it matters not <coughs> some of the greatest scientific minds of all Europe could not make it work <coughs> now all I need is the manuscript and all shall be revealed